What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy Ray here with another one. Los Lara Fumando Mota vi video oficial. Shout out to David for the dono. ¿Qué tú me estás haciendo? ¿Qué, qué, 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 qué estamos? ¿Qué estamos chuca escuchando hoy? De déjame saber, David. David. Federico. Corta maldito B. Por favor, que ya yo estoy cansado de esta mierda ya, coño. Los Lara. ¿Está <laughs> bien? It is on. It says smoking weed. That's what it says there. Let's see what this is about, man. It's on you. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, these dudes are high off their ass. They're chilling. My man didn't even say that. Yo, we shooting the video today. He said, fuck a shirt. He said, fuck a shirt. You don't need a shirt. <laughs> we talking about weed. <laughs> That was a song. So, all right, cool. So somebody made a song like this. I think it was Anthony Santo. He, it's like a bachata. It's a song of love and everything. But he flipped it through that Mexican stuff on it. And he decided to talk about weed instead of a woman. I see what you're doing. I heard the cadence. I knew exactly what it was. I heard the cadence and I heard my father saying, clean my room in Spanish. Limpia maldito cuarto. That's how my dad used to tell me all the time. Fumando mota, mi vida se relaja. Entre más fumo, más mi mente viaja. A veces vuelo y cuando despego, siento que tengo lo que yo más quiero. Man, that man loves weed, bro. <laughs> that man loves the Mary Jane. Hold on, man. Hold on. I know, I know, man. Weed is not for everybody. Not everybody messes with weed the way they're supposed to mess with weed. You see me, I, I smoke. I'm not gonna hide that. I ain't gonna lie about it. I smoke. But it's when it's for situations like this. I'm nervous as fuck being in front of this camera every single day. This relaxes me with my anxieties because I suffer from high anxiety. I don't want to take no pill. Weed works for me. So if you're using it the right way, oh, power to you, my, 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 my brother, my sister. But if you're just smoking it just because you want to be high all fucking day and not do shit, nah, you good with that. Nah, that I understand. I understand. Smoke's a sativa, man. She will hope. That indica is indica for in the couch. You're in that motherfucker sleeping. No matter whose couch it is. <laughs> but it's crazy, and I know a lot of people won't understand it, but weed gives me energy. I don't know, I don't know how the fuck it does it, but it does. I can just tell you that it does. Absolutely. I have too much energy for a nigga to smoke weed. <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> 
coge los alaris de that's gonna, be, that's gonna be my new weed song every time I smoke it san can 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 and uh, I speak Spanish but different dialects Mexicans say a whole bunch of words that I'm just like I don't even know what that means so different dialects so I ain't breaking shit down I'm just I'm just enjoying this tune right now baby I'll give you the roundabout. He just said that he'll love smoking weed. <laughs> A lot. Fumando mota, mi vida se relaja. Entre más fumo, más mi mente viaja. A veces vuelo y cuando despego, siento que tengo lo que yo más quiero. Entre la vida y la muerte hay un espacio. Y con el humo me mantengo en ese lazo Y yo no les miento, yo soy muy sincero A veces vivo y a veces muero No voy a dejar de fumar si us- That man said, he just said it to you I am not gonna stop smoking I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna stop smoking. I'm gonna fuck, man. It puts me the last, the last verse that he said. It pretty much says that it puts him in, in a in a in a happy place. He he's where he needs to be when he smokes weed. That's the roundabout of what he's saying from this point. It is just that I'm nothing without it. It's nothing without me. I need to smoke that weed. My man in the back. He's only there to smoke. He. <laughs> He doesn't play an instrument. That's the, that's the guy that drove that drove him to the to the area. You see how he's got the little rack on top? That's to put all the equipment and stuff on it. He brought them here. Everybody else, but this nigga just came to smoke. <laughs> Let's go. No voy a dejar de fumar. Si usted quiere, me puede acompañar. Right, right, right. Subas- he said, I ain't gonna stop smoking. And if you want, you can join, baby. Let's go. It makes people happy. I ain't gonna start smoking <laughs> or you gonna find me by myself nigga if you got a problem with it you can leave this man this man left his whole family he lives in that car <laughs> He left his whole family going, y'all niggas don't want to deal with it, don't deal with it. This is a beautiful song. This is a beautiful I Love Marijuana song. <laughs> I love it. Oh, no, Los Lara. You over here talking that crap. Go ahead, man. He's got an electric keyboard guitar thing. That nigga that's not even playing the drums. <laughs> They're all high, bro. Oh, solito me pueden dejar. Pase de una bacha a que mi carcacha. Find me smoking weed all day, all night. <laughs> Let's go. At least he made this song. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I, 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 I see. There's a lot of people out there that is just no, 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 no to drugs. Weed abusing it, yes, could lead to something stronger, and like like anything fucking else. If you smoke weed all day, every day, from the minute that you wake up to the minute you go to sleep, and you're in a constant high, you're running from something. But if you're using if, if you using weed the correct way, like I don't smoke weed when I wake up in the morning. I I, I eat my breakfast. I, I do things around the house and everything. I'm not smoking. I'm not even thinking about smoking. You know when I start smoking? When everything in the house is done, the bills are paid, the lawn is mowed, and now I'm showered, relaxed, and ready to smoke. You do it like that all day, every day, man. That shit's never going to get old to you. But when you start abusing something, you're like, oh, I don't ever want, like what Louis C.K. said, I don't ever want to say my drugs are shit. I don't ever want to say that. So don't abuse it. Just don't be, abuse the fuck out of it. I use it for what I need it. When, when I need it. But 
There's people out there, we heads, that it, they just they just smoke weed all day fucking long. But you know what? It's a lot of people that I personally know that they can't, like literally, like emotionally, they cannot function if they're not high. My tattoo audits, he does not touch me unless he's smoked already. I'm not going to let nobody touch me. Well, not him. I'm not going to let him. I don't know who everybody else is. I am comfortable with who does my shit. And I know that he does a great job because he's high. Because if he's not, he's anxious. He He's already fucked up one of my tattoos because he didn't smoke when he did it. Because it's, he starts getting anxious. He starts getting nervous. His hands start shaking. He can't focus. It, he can't function at all. But the minute that he smokes, he could fucking paint a Picasso on your back. Period. I know a lot of people that function that way. And that's it. That's what needs to be done. That's what needs, that's crazy. But if that's what needs to be done, that's what needs to be done for your own case. But then I also know people that smoke weed at every time. It's a bad effect. They don't like it. They get physically sick because it, it, it doesn't agree with them. And that's cool. Do whatever it is you need to do. But don't start judging people like we, us, us potheads. We're about peace, love, and, 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 and togetherness and unity in a way. If somebody got a blunt, <laughs> if somebody got a blunt and he sits outside of his neighborhood and he lights up that blunt, I could almost guarantee you in 3.4 minutes, you're going to have at least two to three people that pop out of nowhere. And it's sitting with you in that stoop. Unity. Right? They smoke. And to be, you know, respectful. While mine's is yours, was yours is mine. Hey, guys, I'm smoking. You want some? And then the cypher begins. And then somebody has a grand idea. Yo, call Mike. And then you call Mike. And you know that Mike's that nigga. It's got the most fierest weed in the world. So Mike comes through. He's in the block. Yo, Mike, there you go, bro. Because he's family. It's okay. Oh, shit. I've got something for you, dude. That's why we called Mike. Because you get that nigga a little bit high. He's already want to give us free samples and shit. So Mike gives us the free sample or some fucking gas. And we smoke it. And we all together to play some good music. Women walk down the street. You're looking beautiful today, baby. Uh, compliments, making her day, making her fucking day. You got the people to know about that guy. Yo, turn that radio, ch change the song, man. Play this one real quick. Go ahead. Now you hanging out with the dudes in the bodega, and now you putting shit on credit. Yo, let me get a bag of chips on credit. <laughs> let me get some juicy juices, the little juice boxes that look like barrels. Let me get four or five of those bag of chips. Let me get three swishes. And, and then, uh, uh, what you guys want? Let me get a pack of Newports. A pack of Newports. Put that shit on my credit. I got you on Friday. Then we go outside. And everybody's having a great time. Then all of a sudden, yo, guess what, dudes? These chips just teased us. I need the whole entire meal. Grab the grill. Here we go. You making money to the community, self-owned businesses. You're helping the people in the bowl. They got buying the burger, buying the buns, buying the drinks, you know, the ketchup, the condiments. Now, all of a sudden, there's a block party. Now, your neighbor across the street doing the same shit. Oh, that's what we doing? Then they pull out their grill. They just bought that grill huh? at Woolsworth for like about a, a good like thirty nine ninety nine. dollars That shit got the shiny metal, baby. You open that bitch up. Bah, he's putting shit on the grill. Yo. I give you a burger if you give me a steak, my guy. And you see what we just did? We just made a memory. That was a crazy ass block party that came out of nowhere. That's gonna be story time with Ray tonight. Fuck it. I'm gonna tell you the first block party that happened because of a lit of a blunt. We're gonna get into it, man. That was the best fucking day. Besides my kid's birth and, and my and my and my my wedding, let's get that shit out the way. Besides that, 
that was the best day of my youth. Right there, point fucking blank. The violence and everything that you see on a day-to-day -day basis, everything, all the negativity, all the bullshit and everything, and then all of a sudden you smoke that fucking. And then all of a sudden you don't care. You're like, whatever, bro. I'm good. I'm good. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna do this jibber jabber shit with you. And you stay yo happy ass in that couch. It's gonna be the best night of your life, man. Get some pizza rolls inside the oven. Huh? Get yourself one of the big cups. You know the cups that your mom doesn't want you to use. But you're gonna grab that motherfucker and you're gonna fill it up halfway with ice. Cause mama bought a brand new refrigerator that makes their own ice. So we are abusing ice now. We be, we're dropping ice on the floor like that shit's not valuable and shit. You gonna pour some of that fucking uh, orange pop? That's my preference. You can pour whatever the fuck you want. Fill that bitch up. Now you got that ice cold drink. You got the pizza rolls getting nice crusty brown. Huh? You pop open that bag of fucking uh, a top of cream and onions. Oh, um, go ahead. You can pick whatever chip. I'm just saying that's what I'm doing. You sit in your recliner. Guess what? Recliner clean. It's fresh. You got the fan right next to you. And you got a whole TV, 72 inches, baby. Netflix. And then you go put Dexter. And you're going to have a great night, bro. You're going to be scared. Oh, who's that in the kitchen? <laughs> Come on, baby. At the end of the day, man. Yeah, about that bullshit in the street, but fuck all that, man. If you just smoke and just chill in the crib, bro, it's going to be a fun time. It's gonna be a fun time, bro. You 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 need a break from from stress. Y'all think stress doesn't kill people? Stress kills people every single fucking day, bro. Every day it kills you. Why not do something responsibly in your house? Where you can lock out all the bullshit and you just chilling. It's the, it's the equivalent of cracking open a fucking beer. But I believe a lot better. It's going to be the best sleep you could ever have in your life. That's not a lot. Come on, man. I'm just saying, you don't. You choose not to do it. That's beautiful. I, I respect that, and you, and you strong. I, I admire your strength. That you don't need to smoke weed. That you could do this dolly. Shout out to you. Some people, they need a little sign. That that's just the reality of it. They need a little sign, bro. No matter how you see it. But I do believe that quitting smoking weed and all and not have, taking anything that is going to manipulate your attitude. If you're straight, straight sober, that's the main goal, right? That's the main goal where, where everyone wants to get. It's completely nothing. Just raw dog in life. <clears throat> and eventually, that's going to be one of my goals. That I don't need a weed. I don't need to smoke weed no more. I don't need because I'm getting the proper help. I'm getting everything that I need to get. My mind's right. 100%, but there's a lot more pros in marijuana than there's not. And you can go to any medical place and they'll tell you. They'll, they'll have, they have a list of what it, what it helps with. It's not going to cure shit, but it helps. It helps with um, chemotherapy. Absolutely helps with that. My, my, my wife's aunt is testament to that. That it really does help. It gives her the appetite. It give it helps her sleep. It 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 helps with a lot. 
people with, 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 with joint issues, people with back issues, people with anxiety issues, people with, 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 with uh, what you call it. Oh, uh, motherfuckers that can't sleep. Insomnia. I had insomnia for a good minute and it helped. And I was able to get my eight hours and I was able to function. So you, people could just like down weed all they want, but there's a lot more benefits that, that, that physically I feel that weed helped me do. And that's just me. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, it is what it is. It's a long video, so what the fuck? The question is that you read the beginning of it. That's the question. I forewarned everybody. That nigga said your eyes chicken and your mouth dry. That's weed right there. Uh -huh. That's why when I smoke, I can't drink nothing but water. I could drink nothing but water because that is a fact. You get caught in mouth like a bitch. Oh, especially smoking these pen shits, man. I gotta cut the pen shit. I gotta smoke more green than that pen shit. Prescription. Prescription is marijuana. You know who told me that? My doctor. My doctor absolutely told me. He was like, look, all these pills that we're giving you is not working. Here's a prescription. Here's a, uh, I'm going to give you a referral to go to this person and let them know what you told me. And that person <laughs> was the weed doctor. And the weed doctor told me, I, I and, 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 and they hooked me up and they told me this is what you need. And it's very, go through the process, you'll find out. It helps with a lot and it helped me with a lot. The only problem is I can't stop with the munchies, baby. I can't stop with the munchies, man. I gotta keep on eating. I don't know why. No voy a dejar de fumar. Si usted quiere, me puede acompañar. Suba su equipaje, porque en este viaje la felicidad no nos va a faltar. Drugs like you, you I understand. It's like, <clears throat> by no way possible did I think it was a good idea for them to open these dispensaries. It, it was it, it it made the crime rate go higher <laughs> than what it was. Let's just keep it a hundred. The facts are the facts. Legalizing marijuana was probably the worst thing that they fucking did. It, it, and the stats prove it. There's a there's a lot more crime and a lot more bullshit. So I don't. Uh, I'm just saying, if we didn't abuse it and didn't like try to profit from it, it could have been something really good for medicine. It, it could have been something really good that could have helped people, which they're that's what they're trying to do with making it legal. But with the problem, when you bring the law and the government involved with this type of shit, it, it, it gets a little, uh, it, it gets crazy. Do I agree? Like, like. Why can't it be like, I'll grow my little plant in my yard. My neighbor grows his plant in his yard. Hey, try mine. I'm going to try yours. And we just, and just relax with it. Why do we have to make a profit from it? Why do we have to make money from it? I mean, I know the answer to it, but it doesn't make it right no matter what. Like, I believe that if we would have taken the government and the money and, and the drug dealers and in other countries away from this plant, we, we, we could have had something really good medically 
if it was introduced medically first before anything else. But back in those days, I mean, there was lack of science and, and all this other shit. They didn't just, they recently just found out that this shit was good for you. So, I mean, see it how you see it, however you want to see it. I believe it shouldn't be legal, but I do believe that it, it does do a lot of good for people that have long-term illnesses and, and, and have a lot of, you know, pains and aches and stuff like that. And especially with anxiety and, and, and everything that comes with anxiety and stress, it definitely helps with stress. So, so, I mean, that's the way I see it. And medically it, it, it could do a lot, but I don't agree with what's going on with it through the government, legalizing it, doing all that stuff. It, it, it it's too much. It, it's too busy and there's too many hands in that pot and it, it just get once you start putting money into something like that that's when everything starts going fucking crazy but that's just the ignorance from the past of people not not knowing and not having the 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 capabilities of seeing if this drug was good or not for us whether you believe the government knew or not whatever but if they could profit Imagine if they would have made it legal back then, and like everywhere in the United States, they they would have profited more than just making it illegal. That's the way I said. They the, the government would have profited a whole lot more making it legal than keeping it illegal and spending money on locking people up for it. That just that's what doesn't make sense to me, but it plays out how the way the fuck it plays out. Too many hands in that pot. I just think medically is good. That's it. Amen. Hallelujah. Dude, I, this is going to be my smoking song. I ain't going to lie to you. This is going to be my smoking song. David, this is your fault. That's, I just want to let you know that. So if there's any complaints on how long the video is, uh, you could go ahead and blame David. David's the one that donated this song for me to react to. So that's on him. <laughs> that's a fact. I love you, bro. Thank you, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got one, two more coming. I got a story time with Ray, and I got uh, the Ren thing. I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I got a bad feeling about this. They say Larry is a vibe, like my nigga Ray. Ray. I be cool and I get high. I roll bigger J. J.